it, Yvonne. Okay, I'm going to go to the American Classics Marketplace again. We've been here a couple times and I haven't been back since they reopened, um, since I'm just now kind of going out. Still not going to the thrift stores, but I feel okay going to flea markets and places like this. So, let's go check it out. Yes, I have to check out this lady's jewelry like I always do. And I like this sign. Yeah, she's got some new stuff. I'm looking for a nice cuff, but I want, um, you know, I want it to be kind of vintage or Native American or something art artisan, at least something artisan, right? I'll let you guys look. She's got some new stuff. Let's go to a case that's more interesting. Here we go. Now we're talking. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, let's zoom in on that. <laughs> half frog, half longhorn bull pin, $99. Yeah, she's got some nice brooches. <laughs> that little hornet. Ha, huh, now I know what that is. You all told me last time. That is a button in that celluloid little set with the buffer and stuff. Now she's got more in that set. That's um, to pull the buttons on your boots. Those like granny style boots that they used to wear. So thank you for everyone who schooled me on that. Okay, I'm gonna slowly turn around. Oh, look at those rings. Silver Angel Cupid Ring Firm, $75. I like that jade thing with the owl looking abstract. Just a lot of rings. Oh, I like that one. Let me zoom in. That one's different with the Nodicus. There's some nice abstract stuff. Huh. Oh, there's a nice cuff. That's different. $89. It is silver. It doesn't say what stone. I'd like something like that. You know, not tied into um, just Western. Okay, now the Southwest. That's a nice piece. Let's zoom in on that. Do you like that? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Can't see how much it is though, I'm sorry. Butterflies would be a good idea, right? Look at that one. That's a nice cuff. Darn, I wish they would show prices. That's a good idea too. That's interesting. I might go for something like that. Okay, that was fun. I like those perfume bottles for some reason with the gold and silver mixed. That's pretty. Okay, let's move on to some of my other favorite booths. Well, her case here is usually full of Van Briggle and it's about still three-fourths, but she's 
Must have sold quite a bit of it. Very expensive stuff, but you know, the factory was here in Colorado. Like that's 180, 95. You can't see what that one is, 132. This used to be full too. I guess that is still Van Brickel, different style than what I'm used to. But you can find it here in Colorado if you're lucky because, I mean, at a good price. Because, you know, the factory was here. 550. Whoa. So again, Van Brickel. So this booth, she's got a little bit of geranium or Vaseline glass and looks like geranium custard. Northwood. Oh, that's a Northwood. $35. That's why it's more. She's got the black light, right? So you can see it glowing. <laughs> no meat on the bone for reselling, but those are cute, right? And this caught my eye up here. It's not really anything special. It says it's just Indiana yeah, glass. It, it shouldn't stop you from doing That's special. really pretty. Let me get it away from the different light. It's really pretty. It's real heavy. Okay. $35. Wow, I like that. Indiana glass, huh? And this. You know, for just an opaque or opalescent, um, that's really pretty. Of course, it's a Northwood, right? $95. There's the marking. Oh, they just, they're leveled up. That's all. They're just leveled up on their glass, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, 40% off. We're going to check this out. 40% off everything. So we're definitely going to check this out. Even the linens, which I don't do a lot of the doilies and antique linens, but we'll check it out usually just save my linens for over at the thrift store, but since I'm not going. Wooden Asian woman, $44. She's about two feet tall. Some Indians. I've been known to make some good money on some scarves. I've even found a, a Hermes, Herme. I just kind of look for hand rolled edges when I'm at the thrift store. It's kind of dark in here, sorry. Let me move around. I always love this. I always love to look at this for a moment. Pause. 125. That's really pretty. <laughs> just fun. Not that hard to do yourself, but you know. There it is. Some people like to just buy other people's art. Thank goodness. Oh boy. I can't get in there to see prices. Sorry, you guys, but those are fun, huh? Oh. I like that. That's a little stretch for my style, but. I like it because instead of like, cherubs and angels, it just has like a tree. Okay, I can't get in there to see the price. I'm gonna go around. Oh yeah, I like them. $429, of course I do. Bye bye. Hey there. Well, one of my favorite stores is just right behind us, but it's a tiny one packed. So we're going to look at something else for a minute and then we'll go over to my favorite one. You guys will recognize that I always spend a lot of time in there. We'll look around. We'll just wait in my turn. I've seen this kind of stuff like in flowers and stuff and it never attracted my attention. But this, look at that. That's pretty. Jade tree, 225. This booth's not having a sale, unfortunately, so, you know, for reselling, can't really do that, but sure is fun to look. Never know, you might get lucky. Let's see. Not a sale here either. 
Sure. Oh, I think they're done. Okay. We'll go over to my favorite. She always has good stuff in here and good prices. And man, either she rearranged or she's got bit in here and putting in new stuff. Okay, she's never really super well lit, but I love this booth. Dang it. That was aluminum, so that sounded worse than it is. Wow, that's a nice abstract piece. Still love this. I have seen this before. Still love that with the fiberglass. Still love it. Goes here. Shawnee. 32 each. Oh, that's cute. Shawnee, $24.99. Cute, cute. The eldest daughter has two French Bulldogs. I don't know if that's an English Bulldog or a French Bulldog though. Japan, nicely done, good colors. Hmm. Egg-shaped. Oh, let's check this out. That's one of those little candy things, I think. always love her booth. <laughs> How much is that? $18.95. Well, I don't know what you are. <laughs> is that tail right for a bull? I don't know. Besides for resale, I'm looking for some kind of chandelier um, for my foyer. And when I say foyer, <laughs> this sounds so pretentious because it's kind of little. It's just a small foyer and then a hallway. I don't know if it has a vintage vibe yet some contemporary elements. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Oh, look at this big eye cat. It's plastic. $12.95. Made in Hong Kong. Oh, I like you. That's a leak. Oh, yeah, it is. They know it. Twenty ninety five dollars. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's look at this. I thought it was German. It reminds me of stuff my grandmother had, my Oma. Look at that. And this lifts up. Oh my gosh. It's not my style, but I know awesome when I see it. Right? I know awesome when I see it. $2.99. Vintage Italian wood inlay tea cart musical. What? Huh. Oh boy, that's pretty. I wish the lighting was better. So you guys could see that. Awesome. Wow. This booth has a mix of stuff, but I always check it. Never know. It seems the more of a masculine type booth. You never know. wander back here <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that Pyrex pattern is that Pyrex or Fire no, Pyrex I don't think I've ever seen that one $24.99 it's a 
showing different things because I don't want to just focus on what I like. This, oh, this case what, they used to have cool stuff in it. Is that for sale? Well, I don't see anything new in here. Maybe those. Maybe those. Roseville, that's what I thought. $24, $29. Oh, I like that. It's missing the stone, but that could be replaced. I like that. $5.99? Sterling silver? Oh, huh. I like that. All right, let's move on. The one thing, I've never done these two rows of cases. I, with you all or even by myself. I've just never done it because I, I don't know. I just hate waiting. Oh, and well, this one has prices showing, so that's good. $35, I like that. Prices seem reasonable too. Since I started with the jewelry, now I'm kind of like wanting some cool pieces for myself. I tend to just wear anklets and stuff. My husband's bought me a few things, but since I didn't wear a lot of jewelry, I'm like, don't spend all that money anymore. So I'd like to just get myself some affordable type pieces. Yellow agate with butterflies. We're getting close. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how tiny these are. If you wanted to have another collection and you're like me and you don't really want to start another one, this would be the thing to start, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I'm in love. This would be a good, yes, that would be a good collection to start. Now here we're getting a little bigger. Oh, twelve dollars, eight dollars. I don't know if that means seventeen for the whole set, probably. And then the little ones are like five dollars. That little cat is all spread out with the heart. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. I think we have a sale. Well, I'm glad I came down here. I want that. I'm gonna get that for my collection. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I found something interesting. Okay, can you see her in there, you guys? Okay, it says spinning hat. <laughs> Rare 10 inch Mexican hat doll, vintage, wind up by Irwin. Oh, well, look at her. I wanna see her hat spin. Or Van Bruegel that we can see a little better. And she's got some more expensive pieces. Eight ninety-five, almost two feet, not quite. But yeah, I'm not sure why they come in so much money. I'm really not. Like it reminds me of Roseville, but like an unfinished Roseville piece, right? Anyways, there you guys go. So if you see it, check it for Van Briggle. Well, here's a nice Fenton and Fostoria. See, we saw that the other day and she had it marked Fenton, or like that other place. It was white, a peg, you know? And I said, that's Fostoria. And like, um, commenters agreed, including um, Crazy Lamp Lady said, no, that's Fostoria. So I'm proud that I'm getting better. And I just knew it because I love Fostoria. So Fostoria heirloom. And so now here's Fenton pieces. Oh boy, that's a pretty one. $80, y'all. That's pretty, though. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think that's a Fenton. But also, I think you guys will like. Look at these craft items. Somebody has made. That's nice. About $30 a piece. Oh boy. <laughs> 125 
Hollywood royalty lights up and changes colors. That has a battleship in it. And she's got some smaller ones that aren't quite as epic. 30% off and she's got, I know it's only clear, but I want that because it's got the figural board, birds around it. So $20 and 30% off. I'm gonna get that. Hey you guys, I've seen and sold a lot of novelty phones in the 80s and 90s, but I have never seen a cheeseburger one. $25. I thought you might like that too if you've never seen it. It's cute. $100. My, my. Doesn't say who made them. Brass Bulldog. Oh, I'd love to get that. $100 is a lot. I'd love to get that for the do eldest daughter. All right, moving along. Okay, I'm at the cafe. I got me some bag of chips and I had my own drink taking a break and then I'm because I've already done most of this and then I'm going into the warehouse section where it's more like a garage sale type thing okay wish me luck I have bought a few things I'll show you guys later we are headed into the warehouse section this is where I found that George Nelson clock for 15 and I sold it for 100 okay no, thank you. <laughs> so, things aren't perfect, right? But they could be worse. <laughs> I, don't, I have an electric washing machine. How about you? I want to show you guys this. Look at that doily. That's only $12. Let me show you the scale. Isn't that awesome? Oh my. Well, you guys are cute, but Big Sister looks kind of cool. Huh. Looks like real glass eyes. I have no idea what all that says. It just says something about long neck cat. Twelve inches, twenty dollars, so it would be fifteen. <laughs> but it looks better as a pair, right? But man, that one's grumpy. <laughs> can play. There's a jukebox, an old statesman Wurlitzer. I'm gonna go up to it, and you guys guess what kind of club it came out of. What kind of music is gonna be on it? Okay. <laughs> Music for millions. Let's see how much it is first. Give you guys a minute to think. Jukebox needs work, $500. Oh, I can tell already. Um, well, guess what? This jukebox is a nice mix. <laughs> Let's see, John Lennon, Olivia Newton-John, Dr. Hook, a taste of honey, but not boogie, oogie, oogie. Come on now. Don't you want me human league? That was a good one. Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. Kansas. Betty Davis Eyes. There's some Charlie Pride. Loretta Lynn. ELO. Not their best songs, though. Fleetwood Mac. A little bit of everybody. Oak Ridge Boys. Oh, Pat Benatar. Ario Speedwagon. Love that. Charlie Pride, Eddie Harb, Eddie Rabbit, someone could lose a heart tonight, Charlie Daniel, Ann Murray, so just a little bit of everybody, right? Santana, Conway Twitty, Ronnie Millsap, Waylon Jennings, <laughs> Hank Williams Jr., 
and then Irene Cara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they must have pulled out all the good stuff, right? All right, let's move on. Okay, last booth, you guys. I did all of the warehouse and only found one piece. I really miss my thrift stores. It's a little more challenging, right? To try to find things to flip. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> to try to find things to flip, you know, from these kind of places. I mean, it could be done, I've done it. We see other people do it. Anyways, I just thought you'd enjoy this booth, modern stuff, like repops, but pretty. And I'm going to work my way out. So I'm going to stop one more place. It's kind of a honey hole, so I don't talk about it very much. And then I'm going to head home. All right, you guys. I will see you later.